Uh, hey guys, my name is Haley Murray Wilson. I'm 29 years old and will be the Big 30 on January 11th. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but have lived all over the U.S. and would consider myself mostly a true Floridian. Today we're going to be talking about my socio-cultural environment, which is the persons, places, or things that influence who you are today, good or bad. In short, I'm going to give you some insight on what made me who I am today. We'll go over the gist of my family, childhood, lifelong education, jobs, relationships, and how that all affects me now. Family. I come from a pretty tight-knit family. Uh, we have plenty of relatives. Um, my dad's side of the family all live in Mexico, so it's hard to see them. My mom was adopted, and we didn't discover her biological family until she was about 40 years old, so maybe 16 years ago. And uh, when we discovered her new family, her adopted family, they didn't want to have anything to do with us anymore. Um, I'm the oldest of two children, but I found out when I was 13 that I had a stepsister who is 10 years older than me. And um, despite a lot of the issues and complications we had, uh, we were our own support group. But uh, when I was about 18, um, they got divorced. So childhood, you can see I have this storm cloud. It's, it was quite a challenge, but in all the bad, there are some good moments too. Um, I've always felt like I was an adult responsible of a whole household. My father was in the Navy and spent a lot of time away. My mother had severe mental health problems and my brother, who is four years younger than me, has autism. Um, substance abuse and alcoholism was kind of rampant in my household throughout my life. There was very little structure or routines so it was up to me to make sure everything was taken care of. We moved around quite a bit, so it was difficult to develop long-term relationships. I was mostly homeschooled and spent a lot of time with doctors and therapists for my own mental health issues. I cherish all the good moments we had. Um, I... I try to always remember those when things are hard because it makes it worth it. And though I spent most of my childhood taking care of people, I still do to this day, but all of us are different people than we were 20 years ago. So lifelong education. This one is a, has had a huge impact on my life. It is definitely a part of my hero's journey and how I motivate myself and my biggest goal and what I've been aiming to do in my life, just to have a simple, normal, like, you know, just a decent, normal life. Um, I'd say I spent about pre-K until fourth grade start struggling with public schools. Uh, with my family dynamic and my severe social anxiety, I finally ended up in a hospital homebound program, um, which just means you have a teacher that comes to the house and homeschools you. I tried going back to high school when I was 16 and I failed. Though thankfully I was a smart student, my life at home and my own mental health issues made it very difficult to just show up. I never thought I would graduate, which devastated me because of my dreams of college and a career. But when I was 17, my dad helped me get my GED. I passed and started a technical college right away for EFDA certified dental assisting with his GI Bill. And I fell in love. 
I wanted to learn everything I could, every piece of the dental office, and I thought I would be an oral surgeon one day. Um, so then I did medical insurance billing and coding so I could do dental insurance. Uh, shortly after that, I made a really big mistake. I ruined my record and my chances of that future. At least that's what I thought at the time. I worked really hard. I suffered through a lot of things and made it on the other side. And um, so much trial and error. And here I am 11 years later. And with the perseverance to be better, I'm finally finishing what I set out to do 11 years ago and I'm doing it with WGU Academy. Uh, jobs. Jobs were tricky. I spent most of my working life volunteering, which didn't equate to experience. You know, they want you to have so much experience to have a job, but you have to be able to do the job to get the experience. So I had experience through internships, um, like after I did the EFDA, you would um, work so many amount of hours and then they might hire you. So I did that for both of my technical degrees. Um, I did those for jobs that I couldn't get anymore because of my background. So after that, I bounced around a lot from food service, a lot of warehouse work, um, to working on cars, cleaning houses, just like a little bit of everything. And in every job, I made it a point to learn everything I could, just absorb as much as possible, try to prove myself, because working hard feels good. But in the end, I always felt underappreciated and I struggled really hard socially with my coworkers, my customers. Life would get in the way and I never stayed in one spot for very long. Relationships. Um, because of how I grew up, I felt like I never properly learned how to build honest connections. I was always drawn to people who needed help, give them everything I could in exchange for their time until inevitably it went bad. I struggled in how to say no to people and that put me in a lot of bad situations. I have not actively tried to make any more friends since I started bettering myself. It almost seems like it's easier to be on your own sometimes than go through all of that pain and struggling and having to experience why you are the way you are over and over again. It's hard to get past that fear and social exhaustion. My self-efficacy when it comes to other people is low. Like the self-fulfilling prophecy, I assume I'm going to fail, so I do. Those that I do have close to me are my world. The ones who have been there through everything. I still take care of my mother, and typically everyone in my family looks to me for help and guidance. It's been difficult learning how to set boundaries when everyone is used to you saying yes, but it's possible. They love and support me on any path in my journey. My husband and my father are my biggest support systems, people I go to when I need someone to lean on. I'm so thankful that despite my mistakes, I have people in my life that make me a priority. Who does that make me? So we can be our own worst enemies. I was a certified people pleaser to avoid the smallest amount of conflict. I constantly felt like I had to prove my worth to people even if they had bad intentions. I never regret the things I went through growing up and even now because they've shaped who I am today. I know that whatever life throws at me, I can handle it and that things will inevitably be okay again. I have a love and appreciation for everything 
especially the small things. Every little bit counts. I have a wealth of knowledge I can share with others to hopefully save them some pain or gain a new perspective. I'm a hard worker and I'm proud of my informational skills. I can turn nothing into something and I can do whatever I can to make it work. We will always be a work in progress and though our socio-cultural environment may help to shape us, we always have that choice to be better, to break cycles, to create a life for ourselves that we deserve. It's never too late to learn and start making a difference. Thanks guys, have a good day.